Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. In my cooking class, I often receive questions from my students asking me about the appropriateness of the stove for cooking with the wok. Are they giving out enough heat? Uh, adequate heat is essential for a stir-fry uh, because stir-fry is basically a frying process uh, known as shallow frying. Uh, like all frying, uh, the temperature of the food is critical. Uh, in the case of uh, stir-fry, the temperature of the oil provides the environment for the food to be cooked properly. Uh, when food is cooked between 250 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, the chemicals on the surface of the food uh, interact with each other to generate molecules that humans find it to be flavorful. Uh, this chemical reaction uh, was discovered in 1912 uh, by a French chemist known as Louis Maillard and this chemical reaction become known as the Mela reaction. Uh, since then, uh, the goal of all good cooking is to keep the food at that temperature so that it is most likely to generate these flavor molecules. Uh, based on this understanding, I have developed the following recommendation of how much heat is required for stir-fry. Uh, number one, the amount of food. So how much food could you put into the wok that will still maintain the temperature for optimum Mela reaction. Uh, so the uh, more food I add to the wok, the more the heat that I require to keep that temperature. So if I have a powerful stove, uh, I can cook more food. Uh, similarly, I need to adjust the heat uh, depending on the amount of the food that I'm going to cook in the wok. Uh, number two, a uh, stirring. Uh, the best way to evenly distribute the temperature and the heat of the food in the wok is to stir them constantly. At the bouche of the wok, uh, concentrate the heat in the middle of the wok. So it is essential to distribute the food uh, so that make sure they will be all cooked evenly. Uh, the rate of stirring is proportional to the amount of heat. Uh, when there's a lot of heat, you need to stir fast. So in some cases, you notice that people actually toss the food so that to make it faster in its uh, mixing. And number three, caramelization. When sugar reach the temperature of 330 degrees, they will caramelize and often stick to the bottom of the wok. Uh, in some cases, this is intentional to add flavor to the food. And number four, burning. And when food reach the temperature of 400 degrees, uh, they start to burn, which leave a carbon residue. Uh, this process is essentially the same as having ashes in the fireplace uh, after the wood has been burned. Uh, when I was cooking on an outdoor uh, stove with a heat capacity of 50,000 BTU, I have to be very careful in adjusting the heat to avoid them from being burned. Uh, by understanding these four factors, uh, it really helped me uh, to adjust my heat uh, when I stir fry. Uh, the following are some of my recommendations uh, based on my personal experiences. Uh, number one, uh, start out with high heat. Uh, I will always turn my stove to the highest heat setting so when I add the food into the wok, it can reach the Mela reaction temperature rapidly. Uh, number two, uh, stirring the food rapidly. Uh, it is very important that you must match the rate of stirring to the amount of heat that you have applied to the cooking. And number three, adjusting the heat. Uh, make sure the temperature of the food ingredients in the wok is at the Maillard reaction zone, which is between 250 degrees to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And number four, caramelization and burning. Uh, be aware of when that happens, uh, unless it is intentional. So adjust the temperature accordingly to avoid that. Uh, by using these four recommendations, uh, I've been able to cook in stove of any heat capacity. All I have to do is to adjust to the heat accordingly uh, when I cook. Uh, having this knowledge has been helpful to me uh, in cooking in the wok, as well as cooking in general. Uh, I hope this information is useful to you. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to receive notifications of my future video postings. I'll see you next time.